Thank you, Mrs. Pinion. Mr. Osoro, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased uh, to be today with you to present to you the automotive uh, industry development in Morocco. Uh, so before starting the presentation, I uh, suggest to start with a small movie, two minute movie, to, to show you the, this development and then we will uh, present you in details the automotive uh, activity with my colleague Mohamed Lamari. So the presentation. So the agenda for the presentation, I will give you a, a small uh, overview about the evolution uh, of the automotive industry within Morocco. Uh, I will share you with you also uh, a study made by, by the association uh, regarding the cost structure in order to enhance the competitiveness of, uh, of our industry and then the development strategy and uh, how we are organized and uh, some uh, AMICA instances. So in the, automot the automotive industry in Morocco uh, starts in 1960 with the birth of uh, SOMACA, which is the Moroccan Association for Automotive uh, Assembly. It's a plant based in Casablanca uh, based on the CKD uh, uh, business model. In, uh, in 1995, the government of Morocco signed an agreement with Fiat Group to, to assemble in this plant uh, what we called uh, the economic vehicle, mainly the Fiat Uno and Fiat Palio. And we saw the arrival of the first multinational companies at the end of the 19th, uh, mainly for two commodities, wire harnesses, and uh, seat covers. So we saw the, the, the arrival of value before becoming Leone, Delphi, Yazaki, Lear, and uh, Sumitomo. In 2003, uh, the, the state uh, sold their shares to, to Renault uh, for Somaka, so Renault became the shareholder of this plant. 
and the, the objective was to produce there the, the Dacia Logan for the local market, but also to export. Since, since this date, Somaka produced only for the local market. Uh, so in this, in this plant, the Dacia Logan started production in 2005, and the first exportation was done in 2007, for mainly for Spain and France. In 2008, the government signed the agreement with Ronon-Nissan Alliance to establish the Tanger plant, and this plant started, uh, started production in 2012, uh, and we saw with this, uh, this new plant the came, um, came of new commodities, which was absent still now, uh, like uh, stamping, like uh, uh, sailing, HVAC, uh, uh, lighting, and, and so on. Uh, another big milestone in our development was this, the, the agreement signed with the PSA Group in June 2015 with PSA to, uh, to establish a, a plant in Kinitra for both uh, car assemblies and also engine assembly. And, uh, and there is another also the other commitment for sourcing for the uh, European plant and also to develop engineering uh, in Morocco. In the same year, by November of the same year, Ford decided to open a, a purchasing office in Tangier Free Zone to manage all the sourcing from Morocco or from North Africa for their plant, uh, mainly Valence, but also for other plants in, uh, in Germany also. In April 2016, Renault signed a new ecosystem or a new deal with the government uh, to, uh, to develop their uh, activities in Morocco, mainly for local content, and uh, also to double their uh, volume sourcing from Morocco. Also working with SEAT to develop sourcing from Morocco for their plant mainly in, in Spain. And uh, at the end of last year, in December of last year, the government signed an agreement with BYD for, to establish a uh, uh, say an ecosystem for electric vehicle, electric buses, and also for batteries. So this is a, a small overview um, about the development of the sector since 1960 till now. So what we produce in Morocco? In Casablanca, two models, Dacia Logan and Dacia Sandero. In Tangier, four models. Dacia uh, Sandero, Logi, Docker, and uh, the Logan MCV, the, the last one. And for PSA in Kinitra, they will produce two programs based in CMP platform and two engines, 1.2 and 1.6 liter. Some figures, so about capacity today between uh, Renault and uh, PSA, we have a, a total capacity of production of uh, 650,000 vehicles per year. The objective of our strategy is to reach 1 million vehicles by 2020. Regarding jobs, we uh, finished last year roughly, about roughly 150,000 jobs, and the strategy is to, to reach 175,000 people by 2020. For car production, today, for since uh, last year, uh, Renault finished the year by producing more than 345,000 vehicles between the two plants. Uh, we will reach roughly 400,000 uh, this year. And regarding turnover, uh, last year we, we export uh, more than six billion euros and the objective or the goal is to reach 10 billion euros by 2020. So as, as I said, this is a, a study made by the, by the AMICA in uh, 2013 to uh, uh, highlight, uh, I'd say, the, uh, the, the, the compound or the, the item 
we need to, to work on to, to enhance our competitiveness. So when we made this study, the result was that roughly 50% is raw materials and components, roughly 30% is uh, 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 transformation like energy, depreciation, maintenance, and 10% for both payroll and uh, uh, logistics. Based on that, we launched uh, three, three ac actions uh, uh, for, uh, on, uh, to, to enhance the, the competitiveness. The first one is to develop the local content and uh, to attract more and more uh, project and more investment. The second one is to optimize and develop our logistics. And the third one is to develop competences. So based on that, we launched five commissions within AMICA. Uh, the first one is competences, competences, logistics, finance, uh, subcontracting, and water strategy. And each commission is uh, leading uh, their, their uh, action plan. And uh, here, I'll share with you some, some uh, uh, result, for example, for logistics, we work with Tangemed Port Authority to, to uh, enhance and to develop our logistic competitiveness, and uh, uh, we work as a partner to, uh, to highlight what we need to, to do from our industry members, but also from Tangemed and our Minister of, of Industry. For competences, we we identified our own need between 2014 to 2020, and we shared it with the, with the, the um, Ministry of Education and also with the, uh, the Office of Professional uh, Training, which is called OFPPT. And uh, also, we own our uh, dedicated institute uh, called IFMIA, and we launched a new, uh, new training uh, courses to uh, to meet our need and the need of all these ecosystems by 2020, between 2014 and 2020. For finance, uh, as Ilham told, uh, told we, we, we have, we, we work also with bank, with local bank to, to have some specific uh, treatment with the automotive uh, actors and companies and for, uh, for subcontracting, uh, we, uh, we uh, identify all the needs of subcontracting for our members and we launch a yearly uh, fair, which is called Subcontracting Fair, uh, every April. The next edition, the fifth edition, will be held uh, next April between 20, 25th and 27th. And we also launch a uh, uh, a B2B uh, uh, fair or convention every two years in uh, November of 80, uh, every two years, which is called Automotive Meeting Tanger. So our development strategy, the f first level is to develop subcontracting and tier two, tier three, in order to prepare the area to attract a new tier, tier ones and also to deal with OEM for both strategy, local manufacturing, but also for sourcing for their plant outside Morocco, mainly in the uh, Iberian Peninsula. So within the, the new, new industry uh, policy called uh, uh, Industry Acceleration Plan launched in April 2014, uh, AMICA with the, the Ministry of Industry uh, structure the, the automotive industry per ecosystems. And uh, uh, we launched in October 2014 four uh, commodity ecosystem, which are wire harnesses, metal stamping, interior and seating, batteries. These four was the first launch in 2014. And uh, in February of 2016, we launched the powertrain one and we are today working on other ecosystems like uh, spare parts and engineering. 
This is for commodity ecosystems, but we have also OEM ecosystem launched with, uh, with OEM, with Renault, with PSA, and we are working with Ford and Volkswagen to launch some specific sourcing ecosystem. So this is, this is the, the target or the objective of these five commodity ecosystem is to create by 2020 more than 66,000 jobs to uh, enhance the turnover by 3 billion euros and to improve the local integration by 21%. And on the other side, the government uh, will ensure uh, rental land with attractive price up to 110 hectares to train all the profile identified between 2014 and 2020 and give some specific measures and incentives to develop the, the local content, content and to develop also the investment in this sector. Just a speed, uh, a quick uh, chronology of this ecosystem. So in 29th October 2014, the four first ecosystem, wiring, interior, metal stamping and batteries. In June 19, 2015, the PSA ecosystem. In February 2016, powertrain. In April 2016, the Rono ecosystem. And we also have some ecosystem with global uh, tier ones like Delphi, Leoni, and, uh, and the last one signed in December of last year with uh, Valeo. Some figures about the AEM ecosystems. So with PSA, the, the, there is four pillars. First one is to, to establish a plant in Kinitra for both car assemblies and engine with a capacity up to 200 thousand per year to, uh, to develop sourcing from Morocco for their plant outside, mainly for Iberian Peninsula and also south of uh, France, up to 1 billion euros. To have a local content of 60% at the SOP, so next year, the SOP is um, planned for 2019, and to develop uh, engineering with uh, an RG center up to 1,500 1, engineers and technicians. For Rono, as are all already established, the, the commitment is to, to double the, the sourcing per year up to 2 billion euros to attract uh, <coughs> roughly 9 million euros investment and to develop the local content up to uh, 65 percent. Today we are at roughly 50 percent of local content. This is for the OEM ecosystem and then we have the, the commodities ecosystem and I let my colleague Mohamed Lamar continue on this, on this presentation. Thank you. Mrs. Pinyan, Mr. Osorro. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about uh, automotive industry in, uh, in Morocco. So to, to continue on my colleague uh, presentation, here you can see uh, some slides about the detail of um, automotive industry uh, activities. So you have um, in this slide, you can see the tier one companies uh, serving the automotive industry and the tier two, uh, tier two, tier three, uh, but also subcontracting companies. With uh, the situation on 2014 uh, regarding the turnover, jobs, and local content, the situ mid situation, let's say by 2017, uh, on the same uh, aspects, and the targets for 2020, uh, for 2020, on turn always on turnover, jobs, and local content. So here you can see um, the figures for wire harness, and what what we can see here is for instance on, on tier one companies you see in green some some figures showing the number of plants of each company so um, it goes from one plant up to eight plants for Sumitomo case for instance so here we can you can you can see the the figures 
the, the situation on 2017, we talk about 2 billion euros turnover, uh, 82,000 people working on this ecosystem, and 50% uh, on, on, uh, for local content regarding wire harness. So for the same ecosystem, you can see here the position of, um, of companies in Morocco. So you can see basically three regions, Tangier, Kenitra, Casablanca, but also a new region which is Meknes, which is growing for, for automotive industry. We have uh, now three plants mainly now on wire harness. <coughs> so here you can see also um, the, on the map the tier two companies um, on, uh, well, working on, on wire harness, uh, especially um, wire harness activities in Morocco are, um, uh, are very, uh, very deployed. We have the, the major actors worldwide uh, settled in Morocco. So you have here, you can see here, uh, all the tier two um, serving this, uh, this um, ecosystem, uh, mainly in Tangier again, Kenitra and Casablanca. <coughs> And we expect to, to have also some tier one, uh, some tier two, sorry, in the region of, uh, of Fez Meknes. So same um, slide for interior and seating ecosystem, which, which is, um, let's say, the second biggest ecosystem in terms of turnover in Morocco. So you see that uh, for tier one companies, for instance, we start also from companies having um, one plant in Morocco to, to companies having fifth, five plants in Morocco, uh, like Lear, for, in, for instance. Um, regarding this ecosystem, we have a situation today um, of 655 million euro turnover, um, 22,000, almost 22,000 people working on this ecosystem, and um, a local content, content of 45%. Uh, um, to, to get to a target of, uh, of a local content of 65% by 2020, 30,000 people uh, working on this, uh, this ecosystem, and 1, mi 1 billion euro by, by the, the, um, the identified date. So same uh, for, for this ecosystem on, on the map, we see that uh, mainly uh, we have companies settled in Tangier area, thanks to the uh, infrastructure we saw uh, in the first presentations. Um, Kenitra uh, and uh, Rabat have also some, some companies uh, working in this ecosystem, but uh, Casablanca also um, has a good part of this ecosystem with um, several tier two, tier three companies serving the, 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 the automotive industry. Well, we have one company which has a chance to be in Agadir, which is a, a seaside city and a well, beautiful city to be, to be in by, by the summer, which is called Inoteca. And here you can see um, the, the metal stamping ecosystem, uh, which is, as you can see, less companies settled in Morocco, but more, uh, and of course less people working on, but more uh, added value uh, and um, also more target for, uh, for added value uh, compared to the other ecosystems. So we are, for this ecosystem, in a situation by 2000, uh, for, for 2017 of 250 million euros uh, turnover and uh, four almost 5,000 people uh, working in, uh, in this activity uh, for a local content actually of five, uh, 55%. To, to reach 76% by 2020 um, with a turnover of 500 million euro. So, same you can see uh, on the map, uh, companies are, for this ecosystem in majority settled in, uh, in Tangier as a tier one. Um, some companies um, as, as tier one settled also in, in Casablanca, but more uh, tier two, tier three companies in, in Casablanca. And uh, we have um, just lately 
the investment of Gestamp, which is a Spanish company, uh, which is settling in Kenitra, in a GV with a Moroccan uh, company, which is uh, Tui Auto, which is uh, uh, originally based in, in Casablanca. So uh, Gestamp and Tui Auto will be serving PSA plants uh, by 2019. We can talk here also about um, Maghreb Steel, which is a national company which is um, uh, serving uh, the ecosystem, starting to serve the, the ecosystem beginning of 2017 by, um, by steel coils. Um, Maghreb Steel started to serve uh, Reynolds and the target is to serve also tier, tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3 companies. Well, the, this slide is for batteries. Uh, batteries ecosystem is, um, is a small ecosystem, let's say, but a good uh, example for local content. We, uh, we reached um, a local content by 2017 uh, of 85% for a turnover of uh, 46 million euro, and we target to reach 90% um, by 2020 for a turnover of 150 million. <laughs> Just to say, this ecosystem started with a, a local content of 30%, and thanks to, um, to the, the job done between Amica and, uh, and the government, this ecosystem uh, permitted to, uh, to um, uh, Moroccan companies to have more and more capacity to, uh, to buy components, and especially uh, the, the lead from Morocco using uh, the, uh, the used batteries uh, through, of course, a recycling, some recycling units approved by the government. Well, we can see that this ecosystem is mainly based in Casablanca. Uh, so, uh, a first company today is starting to serve uh, Reynolds, which is um, uh, Electra. Well, uh, the company is called. Africable, but the, the, the battery name is Electra. So th this company is, um, is serving uh, Renault in Casablanca, uh, means uh, Somaca, and the target is to serve also the Tangier plant, and in the future, PSA plant in Canitra. Well, a last uh, slide, well, a last um, ecosystem slide, uh, is uh, regarding powertrain. So this um, this is the the last signed ecosystem for automotive industry. It started uh, with a turnover of 50 million euro. Uh, today we are in a turnover of uh, 350 million euro. Uh, 5,000 people working in this ecosystem, and we target to reach 10,000 people um, with a turnover of 600 million euro. Uh, especially uh, working for PSA plants uh, regarding engines. As you know, uh, by 2019, PSA will start uh, producing engines and the capacity of the plant is uh, 200,000 engines per year. So here again, the, uh, the automotive companies for this ecosystem on the map so we have uh, some companies in Tangier, uh, some others in, in Canitra, in Casablanca, but also in, in Fez region, uh, with a company today um, serving Reynolds in, in Tier 1, a Moroccan company. So here, uh, we would like to show you um, the commodities which are still um, which are still um, absent in Morocco and that can present an opportunity for, uh, for Basque companies. So you can see in, uh, in uh, orange some commodities that are uh, already in discussion, means that some companies are looking for the opportunity on this, um, these activities to settle in Morocco. And in red, uh, activities for which there is no yet uh, any, any discussion with the, with the government or um, any companies showing interest uh, at the moment to, to settle in Morocco. 
So here you can, we can talk about um, wind actuators, uh, extrusion, leather, handset, screens, radio, echoes uh, for, for absent commodities, and plastic granules molds, uh, plastic blowing, chromine, and locks uh, as activities which are uh, in discussion with, with uh, some companies but not yet settled. So these companies are uh, evaluating the business plan to, to settle in Morocco. Um, this, these uh, activities are not the, the only ones. We separated them in two slides. So I go to the second one so that I give you the whole picture. So again, for absent commodities um, with no, no companies um, uh, evaluating, we talk about uh, iron foundry. I saw in the third floor some, some companies for foundry, some Spanish companies. Forging and tires, which are still, still absent from Morocco. And we talk about um, commodities where some companies are uh, evaluating, uh, like machining, uh, aluminum die casting, turning parts, aluminum tubes, iron tubes, screws and nuts, uh, helical springs, and thermoformid uh, packaging. So here, as I said, some business opportunities for the companies, even, uh, even for the, um, the activities in, uh, in Orange, uh, there are still opportunities. The, the, uh, the turnover is interesting, and uh, Basque companies can have their, their chance, their possibility to, uh, to profit from those, uh, uh, this business. Okay, so um, this slide is to show you how Amica is, is organized in terms of, uh, of instances. Of course, Amica has a president, uh, but uh, also some, um, some instances, internal instances, like technical centers, we, we have uh, Setiev and Seed. So Setiev making some, uh, some homologation for, for uh, parts uh, imported to Morocco for the after sales, but also some validation uh, tests. Seed is, um, is a, a validation center which is uh, uh, planned to be, to be built in Morocco. Uh, especially for, for validation plans and develop product development. So there will be no homologation for imported uh, uh, parts. Uh, this is for technical centers. Regarding training, we talk, uh, my colleague talked about uh, training strategy uh, defined in, uh, within AMICA and, uh, and with the government. AMICA has four training centers called IFMIAS, in, uh, we will see it afterwards, in, in three cities in Morocco. And lately, we, uh, by 2014, AMICA and the government launched the uh, ecosystem management structure. So my colleague and I belong to this structure. So here you can, you can see our photos. Here's some words about Setiev. So Setiev uh, is making, as I said, uh, homologation, but also some validation tests. <coughs> it is for seed. And here we can see IFMIAS in Morocco. So we have two institutes in, in Tangier, one in Kenitra and one in, uh, in Casablanca. Yeah. And this last slide to show you the companies that, uh, that trusted Morocco. Not all, but the majority. So here is. Thank you. And if you have some questions, we are here for.